a little review on this uh, Kim Dip Carburetor Parts Cleaner. So the first time I seen it, I let the uh, carburetor soak overnight. This old Honda that we have, the uh, carb was sitting for 30 years of gas in it. And finding parts was not easy. So I let this soak overnight. This is the first time I'm seeing it. The uh, pilot jet was completely clogged. I got a new main jet in there, but we cracked the... Oh, wow. Oh, that was bad. Oop, hit my uh, camera there. Wow. So you're supposed to wash this off with water. Again, we let it sit overnight. It goes four hours, eight hours overnight for the really, really bad ones. So you see that pilot jet right there. That's what got cracked. We were trying to take the screwdriver and take that out. So the main jet floats. Everything looks amazing on this. This is the reason I put a new main jet in there. We're still going to clean that up a little bit more. Bobby? We're all over in the background. So I'm pretty excited about this. This stuff, uh, I mean, this stuff works great. So again, that's the Kim Dip Carburetor Parts Cleaner. It's like 45 bucks, but uh, I think I'm going to soak all my carbs in this stuff from moving on forward. We've done the old uh, pine saw trick, stuff like that. This thing looks amazing. Look inside there. All right, definitely worth the money. So we're going to get this washed off and get it put in the bike and see, it, uh, see if that helps. All right, got it all washed up. You're supposed to use the water. I think, like I said, just to get everything cleaned off. It's going to be flash rusting and stuff. But again, that pilot jet is what we were worried about. And it seems to be pretty dang clean. And there's the main jet. So we run a little wire through there and make sure that uh, everything's taken care of. I mean, this thing, I'll put a video probably at the front or the back to show what it looked like before. But this is night and day. Again, they don't make these. There's no knockoff Chinese, you know, carbs. I ordered one, which I was able to steal the uh, main jet from. But other than that, it's completely different than what's on the bike. That is amazing. I happen to have it sitting here. This is the original carb. I've had it soaking a little bit, but that's the main jet. It is rusted everything in this thing it just had the gas sitting in it and the float sticks so I'd like to just rebuild this one that'd be the goal as you can tell there's rust and corrosion and that's the pilot jet there and you can see down and there's the bottom of the bowl I mean it's just gonna take a lot of a lot of cleaning and soaking and that's for the plunger the needle, the needle somewhere. Oh yeah, here's the needle and plunger. And that I started scraping off, but that's what, the gas just turns to varnish inside there when it sits for so long. And that thing's just gummed up.